In Matthew chapter 9 it says, A woman came behind him and touched the hem of his garment, and the woman was made whole. Proverbs 18, 21 Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. God's Word tells us that the Word itself is a seed that can bring forth life and health to your whole being. Proverbs 4, verses 20 through 23. My son, attend to my words. Incline thine ear unto my sayings. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart, for they are life unto those that find them, and health to all their flesh. Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Psalms 107.20 He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. Exodus 15, 26 I am the Lord that healeth thee. Numbers 23 and verse 19 God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Hath he said, and shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken, and shall he not make it good? 1 Kings 8, 56 There hath not failed one word of all his good promise. Psalms 119 Verse 89 Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. Jeremiah 1 12 I will hasten my word to perform it. Exodus 12 37 I am the Lord that healeth thee. He spoke those words to over a million people. God's people, during the Exodus, believed God's words were true. The result? Every one of them who needed healing was made well. Psalms 103, 37 He, God, brought them forth and there was not one feeble person among their tribes. Deuteronomy 7, 12 and 15 If you pay attention to these laws and are careful to follow them, then the Lord your God will keep His covenant of love with you. The Lord will keep you free from every disease, Exodus 23, 25 But you shall serve the Lord your God, and He will bless your bread and your water, and I will remove sickness from your midst. Luke 9, 11 And He, Jesus, welcomed them, the crowds, and spoke to them about the kingdom of God, and healed those who needed healing. Hebrews 10, 7 Lo, I come to do thy will, O God. John 6, 38 I, Jesus, came down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of Him that sent me. 
the leper of Mark 1, 40 said, If you are willing, you can make me clean. Filled with compassion, Jesus reached out his hand and touched the man. I am willing, he said, be clean. Matthew 6, 9, and 10. After this manner, therefore, pray ye, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. 3 John 1, verse 2. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. 1 John 5, 14 and 15 And this is the confidence that we have in Him, that if we ask anything according to His will, He heareth us. And if we know that He hear us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desire of Him. Hebrews 12, 12, and 13 Wherefore lift up the hands which hang down, and the feeble knees, and make straight paths for your feet, lest that which is lame be turned out of the way, but let it rather be healed. Philippians 2, 13 For it is God which worketh in you both to will and to do of His good pleasure. Romans 8, 32 he that spared not his own Son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? James 1, 17 Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, and cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. Romans 8, 31 What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? Malachi 3, 6 For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Isaiah 41, 10 Fear thou not, for I am with thee. 
Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Deuteronomy 7, 15 And the Lord will take away from thee all sickness. Jeremiah 30, 17 For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, saith the Lord. Jeremiah 33, 6 Behold, I will bring it health and cure, and I will cure them, and will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth. Deuteronomy 30, 19, and 20. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you, that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore choose life, that both thou and thy seed may live, that thou mayest love the Lord thy God, and that thou mayest obey his voice, and that thou mayest cleave unto him. For he is thy life, and the length of thy days, that thou mayest dwell in the land which the Lord sware unto thy fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. Leviticus 26 3 and 9. If ye walk in my statutes, and keep my commandments, and do them, I will have respect unto you, and make you fruitful, and multiply you, and establish my covenant with you. Isaiah 58, 8. Then shall thy light break forth as the morning, and thine health shall spring forth speedily, and thy righteousness shall go before thee. The glory of the Lord shall be thy reward. Genesis 20, 17 So Abraham prayed unto God, and God healed Abimelech, and his wife, and his maidservants, and they bare children. Second Chronicles 30, 20 And the Lord hearkened to Hezekiah, and healed the people. 2 Kings 20 and verse 5 Turn again, and tell Hezekiah the captain of my people, Thus saith the Lord, the God of David thy father, I have heard thy prayer, I have seen thy tears, behold, I will heal thee. On the third day thou shalt go up unto the house of the Lord. Numbers 23, 19 God is not a man that he should lie, neither the Son of Man that he should repent. 
hath he said? And shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken? And shall he not make it good? Second Chronicles 6, 14 And said, O Lord God of Israel, there is no God like thee in the heaven, nor in the earth, which keepest covenant, and showest mercy unto thy servants, that walk before thee with all their hearts. 2 Chronicles 16, 9 For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong in the behalf of them whose heart is perfect toward him. Psalms 145, 8 and 9 The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and of great mercy. The Lord is good to all, and His tender mercies are over all His works. Job 37, 23 Touching the Almighty, we cannot find Him out. He is excellent in power, and in judgment, and in plenty of justice. He will not afflict. Psalm 67, 2 That thy way may be known upon earth, thy saving health among all nations. Psalms 105, 37 He brought them forth also with silver and gold, and there was not one feeble person among their tribes. Psalms 103, 3 Who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases. Isaiah 40, 31 But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Isaiah 65, 22 They shall not build and another inhabit. They shall not plant and another eat. For as the days of a tree are the days of my people, and mine elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands. Ephesians 6, 1 through 3 Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on the earth. Matthew 4, 23 and 24 And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. And his fame went throughout all Syria, and they brought unto him all sick people that were taken with diverse diseases and torments, and those which were possessed with devils, and those which were lunatic, and those that had the palsy, and he healed them all. 
Matthew 8, 2 and 3. And behold, there came a leper and worshipped him, saying, Lord, if thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. And Jesus put forth his hand and touched him, saying, I will be thou clean. And immediately his leprosy was cleansed. Matthew 8, 5 through 10 and 13. And when Jesus was entered into Capernaum, there came unto him a centurion, beseeching him, and saying, Lord, my servant lieth at home sick of the palsy, grievously tormented. And Jesus said unto him, I will come and heal him. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I'm not worthy that thou shouldst come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. For I am a man under authority, having soldiers under me, and I say to this man, Go, and he goeth, and to another, Come, and he cometh. And to my servant, Do this, and he doeth it. When Jesus heard it, he marveled, and said to them that followed, Verily I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel, and Jesus said unto the centurion, Go thy way, and as thou hast believed, so be it done unto thee. And his servant was healed in the self same hour. Matthew eight, fourteen through seventeen. And when Jesus was come into Peter's house, he saw his wife's mother laid and sick of a fever, and he touched her hand, and the fever left her, and she arose and ministered unto him. When the even was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils, and he cast out the spirits with his word, and healed all that were sick, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Esaias the prophet, saying, Himself took our infirmities and bare our sicknesses. Matthew 9, 20 through 22. And behold, a woman which was diseased with an issue of blood twelve years came behind him and touched the hem of his garment. For she said within herself, If I may but touch his garment, I shall be whole. But Jesus turned him about, and when he saw her, he said, Daughter, be of good comfort, thy faith hath made thee whole. And the woman was made whole from that hour. Matthew 9, 27 through 36. And when Jesus departed thence, two blind men followed him crying and saying, Thou son of David, have mercy on us. And when he was come into the house, the blind men came to him. And Jesus said unto them, Believe ye that I am able to do this? And they said unto him, Yea, Lord. Then touched he their eyes, saying, According to your faith, be it unto you. And their eyes were opened. And Jesus straightly charged them, saying, See that no man know it. But they, when they were departed, 
spread abroad his fame in all that country. And as they went out, behold, they brought to him a dumb man possessed with a devil. And when the devil was cast out, the dumb spake. And the multitudes marveled, saying, It was never so seen in Israel. And Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. But when he saw the multitudes, he was moved with compassion on them, because they fainted and were scattered abroad as sheep having no shepherd. Matthew 11, 28 through 30. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Matthew 12, 15 But when Jesus knew it, he withdrew himself from thence, and great multitudes followed him, and he healed them all. Matthew 14, 13 and 14 when Jesus heard of it, he departed thence by ship into a desert place apart. And when the people had heard thereof, they followed him on foot out of the cities. And Jesus went forth and saw a great multitude, and was moved with compassion toward them, and he healed their sick. Matthew 14, 34 through 36. And when they were gone over, they came into the land of Gennesaret. And when the men of that place had knowledge of him, they sent out into all that country round about, and brought unto him all that were diseased, and besought him that they might only touch the hem of his garment and as many as touched were made perfectly whole. Matthew 15, 29 through 31 And Jesus departed from thence, and came nigh unto the city of Galilee, and went up into a mountain, and sat down there. And great multitudes came unto him, having with them those that were lame, blind, dumb, maimed, and many others, and cast them down at Jesus' feet, and he healed them, insomuch that the multitude wondered when they saw the dumb to speak, the maimed to be whole, the lame to walk, and the blind to see, and they glorified the God of Israel. Mark 5, 1 through 43. And they came over unto the other side of the sea, into the country of the Gadarenes. And when he was come out of the ship, immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit, who had his dwelling among the tombs. And no man could bind him, no, not with chains, because that he had been often bound with fetters and chains, and the chains had been plucked asunder by him, and the fetters broken in pieces. Neither could any man tame him, and always, night and day, he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying and cutting himself with stones. 
But when he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped him, and cried with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with thee, Jesus, thou Son of the Most High God? I adjure thee by God that thou torment me not. For he said unto him, Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. And he asked him, What is thy name? And he answered, saying, My name is Legion, for we are many. And he besought him much that he would not send them away out of the country. Now there was there nigh unto the mountains a great herd of swine feeding. And all the devils besought him, saying, Send us into the swine, that we may enter into them. And forthwith Jesus gave them leave. And the unclean spirits went out, and entered into the swine. And the herd ran violently down a steep place into the sea. They were about two thousand, and were choked into the sea. And they that fed the swine fled, and told it in the city and in the country. And they went out to see what it was that was done. And they come to Jesus, and see him that was possessed with the devil, and had the legion sitting, clothed, and in his right mind. And they were afraid. And they that saw it told them how it befell to him that was possessed with the devil, and also concerning the swine. And they began to pray him to depart out of their coasts. And when he was come into the ship, he that had been possessed with the devil prayed him that he might be with him. Howbeit Jesus suffered him not, but said unto him, Go home to thy friends, and tell them how great things the Lord hath done for thee, and hath had compassion on thee. And he departed, and began to publish in Decapolis how great things Jesus had done for him. And all men did marvel. And when Jesus was passed over again by ship unto the other side, much people gathered unto him, and he was nigh unto the sea. And behold, there cometh one of the rulers of the synagogue, Jairus by name. And when he saw him, he fell at his feet, and besought him greatly, saying, My little daughter lieth at the point of death. I pray thee, come, and lay thy hands on her, that she may be healed, and she shall live. And Jesus went with him, and much people followed him and thronged him. And a certain woman, which had an issue of blood twelve years, and had suffered many things of many physicians, and had spent all that she had, and was nothing bettered, but rather grew worse, when she had heard of Jesus, came in the press behind, and touched his garment. For she said, If I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. And straightway the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. And Jesus immediately, knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him, turned him about in the press and said, Who touched my clothes? And his disciples said unto him, Thou seest the multitudes thronging thee, and sayest thou, Who touched me? And he looked around about to see her that had done this thing. But the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing what was done in her, came and fell down before him, and told him all the truth. And he said unto her, Daughter, thy faith hath made thee whole. Go in peace, and be whole of thy plague. While he yet spake, 
there came from the ruler of the synagogue's house certain which said, Thy daughter is dead. Thou troublest thou master any farther? As soon as Jesus heard the word that was spoken, he said unto the ruler of the synagogue, Be not afraid, only believe. And he suffered no man to follow him, save Peter and James and John, the brother of James. And he cometh to the house of the ruler of the synagogue, and seeth the tumult, and them that wept, and wailing greatly. And when he was come in, he said unto them, Why make ye this ado, and weep? The damsel is not dead, but sleepeth. And they laughed him to scorn. But when he had put them all out, he taketh the father and the mother of the damsel, and them that were with him, and entered in where the damsel was lying. And he took the damsel by the hand, and said unto her, Talitha Kumai, which is being interpreted, Damsel, I say unto thee, Arise. And straightway the damsel arose, and walked. For she was of the age of twelve years, and they were astonished with a great astonishment. And he charged them straightly that no man should know it, and commanded that something should be given her to eat. Mark chapter 6, 53 through 56. And when they had passed over, they came into the land of Gennesaret and drew to the shore. And when they were come out of the ship, straightway they knew him, and ran through that whole region round about, and began to carry about in beds those that were sick, where they heard he was. And whithersoever he entered, into villages or cities or country, they lay the sick in the streets and besought him that they might touch if it were but the border of his garment. And as many as touched him were made whole. Mark 7, 23 through 37. For a certain woman whose young daughter had an unclean spirit heard of him, and came and fell at his feet. The woman was a Greek, a Syrophoenician by nation, and she besought him that he would cast forth the devil out of her daughter. But Jesus said unto her, Let the children first be filled, for it is not meet to take the children's bread and to cast it unto the dogs. And she answered and said unto him, Yes, Lord, yet the dogs under the table eat of the children's crumbs. And he said unto her, For this saying go thy way, the devil is gone out of your daughter. And when she was come to her house, she found the devil gone out, and her daughter laid upon the bed, and again departing from the coasts of Tyre and Sidon, he came unto the Sea of Galilee, through the midst of the coasts of Decapolis. And they bring unto him one that was deaf, and had an impediment in his speech. And they beseech him to put his hand upon him. And he took him aside from the multitude, and put his fingers into his ears, and he spit, and touched his tongue. And looking up to heaven, he sighed, and said unto him, Ephaphatha, that is, be opened. And straightway his ears were opened, and the string of his tongue was loosed, and he spake plain. And he charged them that they should tell no man, but the more he charged them, so much the more a great deal they published it. 
and were beyond measure astonished, saying, He hath done all things well. He maketh both the deaf to hear and the dumb to speak. Mark 9, 17-29 and one of the multitude answered and said, Master, I have brought unto thee my son, which hath a dumb spirit. And wheresoever he taketh him, he teareth him, and he foameth, and gnasheth with his teeth, and pineth away. And I spake to thy disciples, that they should cast him out, and they could not. He answered him and said, O faithless generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him unto me. And they brought him unto him. And when he saw him, straightway the spirit tear him. And he fell on the ground and wallowed foaming. And he asked his father, How long is it ago since this came unto him? And he said of a child, And oft times it hath cast him into the fire, and into the waters, to destroy him. But if thou canst do anything, have compassion on him, and help us. Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. And straightway the father of the child cried out, and said with tears, Lord, I believe, help thou my unbelief. When Jesus saw that the people came running together, he rebuked the foul spirit, saying unto him, Thou dumb and deaf spirit, I charge thee, come out of him, and enter no more into him. And the spirit cried, and rent him sore, and came out of him. And he was as one dead, insomuch that many said, He is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand, and lifted him up, and he arose. And when he was come into the house, his disciples asked him privately, Why could not we cast him out? And he said unto them, This kind can come forth by nothing but by prayer and fasting. Luke 4, 16 through 21. And he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up. And as his custom was, he went into the temple on the Sabbath day, and stood up for to read. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance for the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. And he closed the book, and he gave it again to the minister, and sat down. 
And the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him. And he began to say unto them, This day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears. Luke 4, 33 through 36. And in the synagogue there was a man which had a spirit of an unclean devil, and cried out with a loud voice, saying, Let us alone. What have we to do with thee, thou Jesus of Nazareth? Art thou come to destroy us? I know thee who thou art, the Holy One of God. And Jesus rebuked him, saying, Hold thy peace, and come out of him. And when the devil had thrown him in the midst, he came out of him, and hurt him not. And they were all amazed, and spake among themselves, saying, What a word is this! For with authority and power he commandeth the unclean spirits, and they come out. Luke 4, 40 and 41 Now when the sun was setting, all they that had any sick with diverse diseases brought them unto him. And he laid his hands on every one of them, and healed them. And devils also came out of many, crying out and saying, Thou art Christ, the Son of God. And he rebuked them, suffering them not to speak, for they knew that he was Christ. Luke 6, 6 through 10. And it came to pass also on another Sabbath, that he entered into the synagogue and taught. And there was a man whose right hand was withered. And the scribes and Pharisees watched him, whether he would heal on the Sabbath day, that they might find an accusation against him. But he knew their thoughts, and said to the man which had the withered hand, Rise up, and stand forth in the midst. And he arose and stood forth. Then Jesus said unto them, I will ask you one thing. Is it lawful on the Sabbath days to do good or to do evil, to save life or to destroy it? And looking round about upon them, he said unto the man, Stretch forth thy hand. And he did so. And his hand was restored whole as the other. Luke six seventeen through 19 And he came down with them, and stood in the plain, and the company of his disciples, and a great multitude of people out of all Judea and Jerusalem, and from the sea coast of Tyre and Sidon, which came to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. And they that were vexed with unclean spirits, and they were healed. And the whole multitude sought to touch him, for there went virtue out of him, and healed them all. Luke 13, 11 through 17. And behold, there was a woman which had a spirit of infirmity eighteen years, and was bowed together, and could in no wise lift up herself. And when Jesus saw her, he called her to him, and said unto her, Woman, thou art loosed from thine infirmity. And he laid his hands on her, and immediately she was made straight, and glorified God. And the ruler of the synagogue answered with indignation, 
because that Jesus had healed on the Sabbath day and said unto the people, There are six days in which men ought to work. In them therefore come and be healed, and not on the Sabbath day. The Lord then answered him and said, Thou hypocrite, do not each one of you on the Sabbath loose his ox or his ass from the stall, and lead him away to watering? And ought not this woman, being a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan hath bound, lo, these eighteen years, be loosed from this bond on the Sabbath day? And when he had said these things, all his adversaries were ashamed, and all the people rejoiced for all the glorious things that were done by him. John 5, 2 through 14. Now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda, having five porches. In these lay a great multitude of impotent folk, of blind, halt, withered, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel went down at certain season into the pool and troubled the water. Whosoever then first, after the troubling of the water, stepped in, was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. And a certain man was there, which had an infirmity thirty and eight years. When Jesus saw him lie, and knew that he had been now a long time in that case, he said unto him, Wilt thou be made whole? The impotent man answered him, Sir, I have no man, when the water is troubled, to put me into the pool. But while I am coming, another steppeth down before me. Jesus said unto him, Rise, take up thy bed, and walk. And immediately the man was made whole, and took up his bed, and walked. And on the same day was the Sabbath. The Jews therefore said unto him that was cured, It is the Sabbath day. It is not lawful for thee to carry thy bed. He answered them, he that made me whole, the same said unto me, Take up thy bed, and walk. Then asked they him, What man is that which said unto thee, Take up thy bed, and walk? And he that was healed wist not who it was, for Jesus had conveyed himself away, a multitude being in that place. Afterward, Jesus findeth him in the temple, and said unto him, Behold, thou art made whole, sin no more, lest a worse thing come unto thee. John 9, 1 through 7. And as Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Jesus answered, Neither have this man sinned, nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. When he had thus spoken, he spat on the ground and made clay of the spittle. And he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay 
and said unto him, Go, wash in the pool of Siloam, which is by interpretation sent. And he went his way therefore and washed, and came seeing. James chapter 5, verse 14 through 16. Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church, and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer offered in faith will restore the one who is sick, and the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed sins, they will be forgiven him. Therefore, confess your sins one to another, and pray for one another, so that you may be healed. The effective prayer of a righteous man can accomplish much. Matthew 12:15. Great multitudes followed Jesus, and he healed them all. Matthew 14, 36 As many as touched him were made perfectly whole. Luke chapter 6, verse number 19 the whole multitude sought to touch him, and he healed them all. Matthew 8, 16, and 17. And he healed all that were sick, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, Himself took our infirmities, and bare our sicknesses. Hebrews 13, 8. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. Psalms 89, 34. Jesus says, My covenant will I not break, nor alter the thing that is gone out of my lips. Psalms 30, 2 and three. O Lord my God, I called to you for help, and you healed me. O Lord, you brought me up from the grave. You spared me from going down into the pit. Psalms 149, 4. For the Lord takes pleasure in his people. He will beautify the afflicted ones with salvation. The writers of the Bible did not write in English. English hadn't even been invented back then. And so in certain places in the Bible, the original word we translate into English as salvation is the same word which we also translate into English as the word healing. He can save and or heal both the body and the spirit. Jeremiah 17, 
14. Heal me, O Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved, for you are the one I praise. Luke chapter 4 and verse 40. When the sun was setting, all they that had any sick with diverse diseases brought them unto him. And he laid his hands on every one of them and healed them. Luke 10, 9 Jesus said unto his disciples, When you enter a town, heal the sick who are there, and tell them, the kingdom of God is near you. Sometimes we are to heal the sick before we are even to preach. Isaiah 53, 4 and 5 Surely He, Jesus, took up our infirmities and carried our sorrows. By His wounds we are healed. John chapter 16 and verse 23. Whatsoever ye shall ask the Father in my name, he will give it you. Mark 11, 24. What things soever ye desire, when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you shall have them. Matthew chapter 8, verses 14 and 15. And when Jesus was come into Peter's house, he saw his wife's mother laid and sick of a fever. And he touched her hand, and the fever left her, and she arose and ministered unto them. Matthew eighteen nineteen. If two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. One of God's names in the Old Testament Hebrew is Jehovah Rapha. This is found in Exodus 15:26. His name translates from the Hebrew God the healer. His name is Healer because healing is in His very nature. Psalms 103, 1 through 5. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who pardons all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with loving kindness and compassion, who satisfies your years with good things, so that your youth is renewed like the eagle. Isaiah 40, 29 through 31. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. Even the youths shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. 1 Peter 2, 24 And he himself bore our sins in his own body on the cross, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. For by his wounds you were healed. 
1 Corinthians 15, 53, and 54. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. For when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. Acts 10, 38 How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. Jesus is not recorded to have turned anyone away who sought healing. Jesus said that he came that they might have life and have it more abundantly. John 10.10 10. He said, I am the life in John 14.6 and in John 11.25.